Welcome to Think About It, where we have just two primary goals. One, to get you to think about it, and two, to make more sense than Keith Oberman. There was a classic Simpsons episode a few years ago, then again, most of them are, where Homer was a member of a barbershop quartet called the B-Sharps. They won lots of awards, including a stack of Grammys. And as he was lamenting the hollowness and emptiness of those awards, he threw one down off a hotel balcony, and it hit somebody on the ground down below. They hollered up at him, stop throwing your trash on me. I think that kind of puts into perspective where we are today. Hollow awards, for instance, you win the Heisman Trophy, but then the Lions draft you. That Heisman doesn't mean a thing. Any award given to Kanye West, pretty much a joke. And the Nobel Peace Prize. <sighs> Certainly by now you've seen the headlines that your president has won the Nobel Peace Prize. For what? Uh, it's even more humorous and ironic and comical when you consider that the Nobel Committee decided the recipient back in March. In other words, Obama hadn't yet finished his first tour of the White House and he was being proclaimed as the savior of the world. He hadn't yet appointed a slew of tax cheats and crooks to his administration and he was being anointed the Messiah by the Nobel Committee. Now, I'm not going to lose any sleep over this because the Nobel Peace Prize hasn't meant a thing since Al Gore won it or Jimmy Carter won it. You've got to be kidding me. But it's fascinating to me the extent to which the world will try to force feed down your throat the fact that this guy is supposed to be the Messiah. Have you ever seen somebody just try too hard? Have you ever seen that loudmouth guy who never advanced out of junior high, but he's hit it rich somehow, and he insists on telling you that he sleeps with his wallet as his pillow, and he's got to drive the brightest, coolest car to proclaim to everybody that he's really cool. Whereas the truly impressive people, at least to me, are the ones that they don't have to keep telling you about it. Have you ever seen the woman or the girl who has to wear at least 16 inches of makeup to put forth what would appear to be a very beautiful presentation, and then sometime you see her without all the makeup, and you wondered if Halloween came early, force-feeding excellence shouldn't have to be done. It should speak for itself. Here's the question I have for you. And we'll know the answer very, very soon. In fact, it may already be known by the time you see this video, but not at the time I record it. Do you think this president has the dignity, the class, and the backbone to decline the Nobel Peace Prize? He certainly hasn't earned it. I mean, I could walk up and hand you a certificate that says, congratulations, you are the National Basketball Association Player of the Year, but you don't play in the NBA. But you've got the certificate. That's about the same level of credibility that the Nobel Prize would have for Barack Obama. I mean, sorry, Barack Hussein Obama. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Love that song. It's really just kind of caught up in my mind. You think he'll do it? I don't. I think it's another trophy for a mantle that is filled with empty awards for a man who has accomplished very little since becoming your messiah.